So good morning and welcome to day two. Having coffee at 6 a.m. Been up for about two hours. We have shifted our sleep schedule by about three to four hours. Because um, we're normally in bed by 10. So we've been going to bed at 7 for the last three or four days to shift our time. Um, because we get on the plane tonight, uh, Iceland Air to head to Iceland to overnight. Well, not really overnight. I mean, overnight we're going to fly, and then we'll have 24 hours in Iceland before we fly to London. Um, so, yeah, waiting for breakfast. It doesn't start for another half an hour. So, we've been up for a while. I'm actually on my second cup of coffee. So today we're basically just going to be adventuring around in the Baltimore area. Um, Drew has found some really interesting things for us to go see and do today. So stick around and check those out. I'll see you soon. Bye. So I know that once we get into London and Europe, we're going to be seeing buildings that are thousands of years old. Um, but I'm already amazed at some of the really cool architecture. Check it out. Okay. We are here, and there's a cute little garden. Trees in the city. This building has little guys that look like robots. This one's got its face broke. Not really the road you want to walk on if you're drinking. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like wavy. We found a memorial for 9-11. People who were from Maryland. It's a big chunk of steel. We made it to the Harper. No worries, just let it roll right off your back. Yeah, baby. How high has the water level came up? This ancient tie is like a foot underwater. We're looking up to see if we can get on a little electric pirate ship and toodle around the harbor. Yeah, it looks like they're working on building a Nice. Wow, 
wildlife habitat. One of the first new wetland habitat spots. So cool. They're dolphins. Yeah, there's a Coast Guard ship. And look at this really cool building. It's got like light above, but it's made out of like a big tarp. That's pretty cool. Hey, look, I'm Ruth Chris. Okay, we figured out what the Coast Guard ship is. It's the last Pearl Harbor survivor. That's pretty cool. We got up to this really cool building and there's this like art installation piece. We're gonna check that out. And look, somebody's mowing the grass. We found the information about the Ah uh, Lighthouse. That's where we started. It's where did we start? We started walking all the way at the corner over there and walked all the way around the inside to here. Smell good? 
care for this thing. So cute. Mmm, does smell good. Found a cute little heart. Had to check it out. It's a whole code of respect. Look, Mom, we found a weeping willow. Pins and patches? What? Somebody's throwing them out. There's more. Give me the patches. What? Give me those patches. And a button. I saw it like on a corner of my eye. It looked like. I guess there's old merch that was kind of rough. Yeah, that was pretty neat. We found like a box of random things by the trash can that had pretty cool little souvenirs. So that was awesome because I was going to look for a patch anyways. So little uh, amateur dumpster diving. It's got a big huge bar. Pretty cool little downtown outside area. Really hop in at 8.30 in the morning, but that's okay, it's still cool. Shot Tower Metro Station. Shot Tower Metro Station, gotcha. That's a pretty cool building, and there's windows on it. We'll walk over there. Okay, we're gonna go closer and investigate. I love my nature, especially in the city. I don't know what kind of mushroom this is, but it's pretty freaking big. Looks like a reishi. Let me know. Pretty cool, we found the building. So we found the red light district of Baltimore. Love Joy Joy. Aww. More beautiful building architecture. Okay, I just fell in love with these brass or copper. Not sure which one, but it's patina. But at the top, there's little Arab guys, these winged helmets. Anybody thirsty? There's just water. Gotcha. But there is a really cool clock tower um, here. May go check it out. Depends on if the bus goes that direction. We are waiting for a bus. They have three buses around town, so we are waiting on the bus. We made it to the bus. Okay, so I found another really cool nature in the city as normal. Uh, it's gonna probably be my thing. Here we go. The whole wall. It's all live. It's grasses. Hello, we are 
on the other side of the marina now and we came to this uh, really cool park and I found a garden. Check it out. The tomatoes and some basil and some peppers and rosemary and these look like really stinking hot peppers right there I'm telling you I guess they like it hot up here Pride of Baltimore lost at sea May 1986 is taking a helicopter tour. So we have climbed to the top of a monument and we've made it to the other side of the harbor. So I just wanted to show like where we are in relation to where we were this morning. This little white building top here, just to the left of it, the red, is the little lighthouse that we saw. Then over there is the building with the really cool top. You can just see the guitar from the hard rock. So we went all the way around the harbor to the here. And Drew, wave. Okay. Random things on the side of a building. How about a bird nest balcony? There's oh there is a hand. It's over there. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> both of those buildings must be part of the art museum. Ah, uh, art museum, gotcha. So we came to the Science Center because it's, you know, something to do downtown and we got the IMAX 3 movie, it's IMAX 3, IMAX, anyways, IMAX movie and it's Sea Lion's Life as a Whisker and we are the only people in the entire place, it's a private viewing, <laughs> I love it. So it's an IMAX movie, not a 3D movie. And I was thinking it was the 3D, the IMAX 3. It's not, it's just IMAX. Although fast and agile, sea lions have a weakness. They stink. Of all the things to find, it's a banana. So it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We came back to the hotel to pick up our bags and get ready to head towards the airport. 
Um, I think we have to be there at 4 or 7 o'clock flight. We'll see how it goes. It is 3 o'clock and we made it back to the Baltimore airport and I found a cool sign. It has a dicto. So it turns out that we are so early. We're about five hours early. Um, there's not even anybody at Ice on Air to check our bags in until 5.30. So we have two hours to find something to do. Ha ha! So down the elevator was the landing gear and up here is the cockpit. And it actually looks like you're going to land on a landing strip. Yeah, the landing gear was down there. Wave! This whole exhibit is pretty awesome. It shows like that you're seated above and all your cargo is below. There's a wing over here. We showed up at five. The line is out the gate. Okay, so we got all of our bags checked. We made it through security. Security was like five minute wait. It was great. Um, and we got some dinner. We have about an hour and 15 minutes before we board. So yeah, we just got um, ham and cheese and cheeseburger. Thanks for stopping by and joining me on day two, which was our adventures around Baltimore. Stay tuned for Iceland tomorrow, day three.